वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ अ सेमी इनफाइनाइट स्ट्रिंग सो टू अंडरस्टैंड अ वाइब्रेशन ऑफ अ सेमी इनफाइनाइट स्ट्रिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो दैट व्हाट डज इट मीन ऑफ इनफाइनाइट स्ट्रिंग वाइब्रेशन ऑफ अ इनफाइनाइट स्ट्रिंग सो इन दैट यू हैव गिवन वन स्ट्रिंग व्हिच इज ऑफ इनफाइनाइट लेंथ एंड विल मेक सम मोशन इन दैट string and we need to calculate what will be the dis displacement of any point at given time t and at given position x so x and t are the variable and y is a displacement which is a depends on x and t wave equation or a governing equation for infinite string it's defined like this and it is derived in this fashion the video is already prepared for that you can go for the i button and you can see what is the mean of the governing equation of infinite string and that are known as a wave equation we have also discussed in my previous video in that we have derived the d'ambert solution for infinite string that video is also available in i button you can go and see the problem is states like this if you have a wave equation like this where your x is between minus infinity to infinity and t is zero the meaning of x is minus infinity to infinity means that there is a infinitely long string is given and time is positive the initial condition that means initially when we starting the situation we are assuming that the displacement is f of x that means at time t equal to zero the displacement is f of x and time t is equal to zero the velocity we are considering as g of x and we have con come to conclusion that the solution is of this form and that solution is known as a d'ambert solution now the problem of semi infinite string means we are fixing one end and the other end is free and so we are fixing at one at let's say it is x is equal to zero the string is attached with some hook or something like that and now we'll make a motion into the string and we need to find out what will be the displacement that is y if i have x and t position and the time t so the governing equation or a problem can be described in this manner so the problem of vibration of infinite string is described in this manner that is a wave equation is here this x is between 0 to infinity here because now one end is fixed and time t is greater than 0 so initially when we are starting the experiment then your position or a displacement is u of t that is time t equal to 0 we are considering the displacement is u of x and the velocity is v of x because it is a derivative of displacement with respect to time so that's why the velocity will be v of x and here there is another condition is come across that is known as a boundary condition the boundary as we are fixing at one end that is x is equal to 0 the boundary at this one that means when x is equal to 0 what will be the displacement so we are considering the displacement is 0 so at the one and x is equal to 0 is fixed we are considering the y the value of y is 0 now this last condition that is a boundary condition is also gives you the velocity is also 0 so that means y of 0t is equal to 0 will implies that yt at 0t is also 0 that means if the displacement is 0 at x is equal to 0 at this point then at that situation the velocity is also zero so that condition is also we have and if i like to apply the d'ambert solution here that means we have already derived the d'ambert solution for this so d'ambert solution one cannot be used for the initial value problem for stated above because or i can say since u of x minus ct so that means if i can use this d'ambert solution 
here instead of f we have used the notation as u of x so we have here it is u of x minus ct and this does not have a meaning if the value of t is greater than x by c so that means we need to modify our problem for infinite three and then we can able to apply this the embed solution so that means this since u of x minus ct have no meaning for the value t is greater than x by c because a u is defined only for x which are positive so if u is here if the value of t is greater than x by c then in that case this will be the negative value so the, in that case u is undefined so it has no meaning so instead of that we need to reframe our problem so the string will be infinite string and then we can apply that d'ambert solution here and we can able to find out what is the solution for semi infinite string so we'll say instead of we consider the modify problem for an infinite string as follows so we follow means we will rephrase our problem so the entire problem will convert into the infinite string so the equation the pd is the same that is del square y by del x square is equal to 1 by c square del square y by del t square here now x is between minus infinity to infinity and t is greater than 0 with initial condition y of x 0 is equal to capital u of x where this capital u of x we are defining as an odd function that is capital u of x is small u of x if the value of x is greater than or equal to 0 and it is minus of u of minus of x if x is less than or equal to 0 and velocity that is yt at x comma 0 is capital v of x and this is defined for every x is between 0 to infinity that is v of x here we are defining is small v of x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and v of minus x if it is less than or equal to 0 now we should observe here that u and v which we have defined here they are the odd function and it's also satisfies the boundary condition of this problem so that we can observe first of all let us try to prove that this u and v is odd function so to prove that it is odd function will replace x by minus x so u of minus x will gives you whenever we have x we should replace by minus x so it is u of minus x if minus x is greater than or equal to 0 this is minus of here it is minus of minus x so instead of x we have to replace by minus x so that's why i'm just writing it is x if minus x is less than or equal to 0 so just taking minus sign here if i multiply then i will write down this is minus of minus of u of minus x if x instead of negative x is positive i will just say that x will be the negative and here if i multiply by minus sign then it will become ux and instead of writing this statement that is minus x is negative i'll just say that x is positive so what is this it will gives me u of x but it is of negative sign so that means u of minus x is minus of ux so therefore we can say that u is odd function similarly one can prove that v is odd now we have to see this u and v is satisfying this boundary condition and it is so it is a problem of infinite string so we can able to write down from the d'ambert solution the solution of this problem will become the solution of problem i will say that problem is this problem i'm defining as two problem problem number 2 to so the problem 2 by d'ambert solution 1 becomes y of xt is equal to 1 by 2 instead of f here it is u so it is u of 
x minus c t plus u of x plus c t plus 1 by 2 c x minus c t to x plus c t v of s ds. Now, we need to find out or we need to see where this y of x t is satisfying our original problem for semi infinite sphere. So, for that when we will have x is equal to 0, what will be the y of 0 t? So, as per this we will have if I substitute x is equal to 0 here, here we will have capital U of minus c t plus u of c t plus integration from minus c t to plus c t into 1 upon 2 c capital V of V of s d s. Now, we know that this u is an odd function. So, that is why this I can write down 1 by 2 is minus of u of c t plus u of c t and that will gives me 0 because u and v are odd. As we know that the integration from minus a to a f x is 0 if f is odd function. So, using this uh, integration this quantity is 0 and if I use the u is odd we will write this is minus of c t. So, this will gives me 0. So, y of 0 t is 0 and y t at 0 t that means if I take the differentiation of this with respect to t will leads to 1 by 2 minus of c into u dash of minus c t plus c into u dash of c t plus 1 by 2 c will be cancel out with v of c t plus v of minus c t. Here is also v is odd function. So, this will leads to c by 2 c is common out and this u of c t that means this function u is this if the derivative of u is that means the derivative of v and if your x is positive we can write down this is small u dash of x. So, as per that we can write down this is u dash of c t and this will be minus u dash of c t. So, this quantity will become minus and this is we will use for negative that is v of c t minus v of c t that is why this will become 0. That means the velocity is also 0 for this problem and at t equal to 0 and x is positive y of 0 t we know it is 1 by 2. So, if I substitute here in this solution x is equal to 0 sorry t equal to 0 then you will have u of x plus u of x and this integration will change to x to x. So, that will become 0. So, that will gives me 1 by 2 v of x plus sorry u of x plus u of x. So, that is 2 times that is equal to 2 times u of x, but u of x is nothing but the small u of x if x is positive and v t of x comma 0 will leads to 1 by 2 c into u dash of x minus c into u dash of x. That means, if I take the derivative of this with respect to t and then putting t equal to 0, it will gives me this value and plus 1 by 2 v of x plus v of x. But this quantity will goes to 0 and this combinedly gives me 1 by 2 into 2 times capital V of x. But capital V of x is, is nothing but the small v of x is if x is greater than 0. So, that is why this is small v of x. So, that means thus the initial and the boundary conditions are satisfies. That means y of x comma 0 is small u of x t. This will be the small v of x t and it will gives me the y of 0 t is 0. So, it will satisfies our condition for condition of semi infinite 
problem. So thus what we can write, thus the initial condition and the boundary condition are satisfies. Therefore, the solution for vibration of a semi-infinite string is y of xt is equal to 1 by 2 capital U of x minus ct plus capital U of x plus ct plus 1 by 2c integration x minus ct to x plus ct v of s ds where u of xt is defined as small u of x if x is greater than 0 minus of minus u of x if x is less than or equal to 0 v of xt is small v of x if x is greater than or equal to 0 this is minus of minus v of x x is less than or equal to 0 so this will be the solution for semi vibration of a semi infinite string now it is interesting to see if v equal to 0 then the solution only contains this term that means what i am saying if velocity is 0 v is 0 that means the initial conditions which we have talked is vt of x comma 0 is 0 then solution is y of xt will be 1 by 2 capital u of x minus ct plus u of x plus ct but this situation i can rewrite as 1 by 2 u of x minus ct plus u of x plus ct which is in the small u of t if your x is greater than or equal to ct and this is 1 by 2 x plus ct minus u of ct minus x if your value of x is less than or equal to ct so that is the technique which we have used to get the solution of vibration of a semi-infinite string from infinite string my next video will talk about the vibration of a string of finite length that means a string which is attached with the both the end and what will be the solution for that so thank you for listening to me if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or a question please drop down in a comment box below see you in the next video till then bye bye sayonara